In order to access the fuel rail for the GDI injectors on this 2.4 liter Ecotec motor, quite a few steps have to be taken to get to the rail itself. That's going to include disconnecting the battery, any electrical connectors around the throttle body and the intake manifold so that you'll have access to remove the intake manifold, and then the ducting from the throttle body up to the air intake assembly. And as you can see, the technician now is removing the seven bolts that are primarily holding the intake manifold to the engine itself. Once he has these bolts free, you'll see that the intake manifold just kind of slips backwards and away from the motor, giving some access and some, some leeway to move in the area that he's working in. And once he's able to move that out of the way a little bit, to the right of the intake manifold and just under the high pressure fuel pump, there is a fuel line that's going to connect from the fuel pump to the fuel rail supplying that fuel to the injectors. We'll remove that line, and that line will be a throwaway part. You do not want to reuse this. It's a one-time use line, so you'll want to have a new line ready and available to replace once you get the rail off and back on with new injectors, or in the case where you're replacing the seals on the injector, you still need to reuse or, and put a new line on. And now you can see with the line off and the intake manifold out of the way, the technician is removing the bolts from the fuel pump itself. He's going to wiggle it around a little bit and it should just break free and allow him to pull that pump right out of its home location. And once out, you see that the spring on the end of the pump, inside of that housing where the spring was, there's also going to be a fuel pump camshaft follower. And the technician is going to work that around in that port and pull the camshaft follower out. And this is definitely recommended to be replaced while you're in there. You already have the pump off. You already have the follower out. Might as well go ahead and replace the follower while you're in there with the fuel pump out as well. And with the fuel pump away from its housing, the follower out, and other connections that are around the manifold free and not binding up, we can now take the manifold itself, pull it away from the motor, and as you can see, access to the fuel rail is now there. The technician will go ahead and fill the intake ports with towels. You can use shop towels, paper towels, just something that's going to keep any floating around debris or contamination from getting into those ports. Not to mention he does want to go ahead and go around and clean those ports as well because once we go and put the intake manifold back on, we want a good clean mating surface for that gasket. So he'll get those cleaned up prior to going any further and then we'll be able to get to working on the rail. And now with those ports clean, you can see the technician is removing the bolts that are holding on the fuel rail itself. There's only a few bolts here. The rest of it is being held in by the injectors in their housings. And in order to get those broken free, the technician is going to take a pry bar and without using too much force, just work back and forth from left to right and try to wiggle the fuel rail free as much as he can again without applying too much force. Just a little bit left to right from side to side and eventually he's going to feel that the rail is breaking free from that tight housing that it's in. And As you can see as he's moving back and forth the rail is slowly working its way backwards and away from the motor giving him a little bit more access to it. And then once he feels confident that the rail is broken free enough without having to use too much more force he'll discontinue the use of the pry bar and he'll be able to use his hands to wiggle that fuel rail free and pull it right out. And hopefully now you have a better understanding of what it takes to remove the fuel rail and injectors on this 2.4 liter Ecotec motor.